you took a nap for this, Gabriel. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel Zamora and thank you so much for watching. I wanna do laser hair removal again, but like I'm gonna be in the sun. <laughs> Like when you do laser hair removal, you basically have to be pale. Like you can't, you can't be tan. And I love being tan. <laughs> For today's video, we are doing makeup and opinions. This is a series here on my channel where we just sit here and we talk about makeup and I kind of just give you my opinion on the makeup or current events as well. So if you like long, lengthy videos to listen to while you're doing your makeup, cooking something, getting ready, having your lunch break. Okay, so we're gonna be hanging out, just doing our makeup. I'm gonna be playing with new products and let's just get into this long little video. Okay, everyone, so fun little update. I have facial hair. So sometimes I have to get into like the mood of makeup and opinions. So I'll watch a previous makeup and opinions video, especially like the beginning. Cause I feel like the intros are always the parts that like throw me. So I'm like, okay, let me go watch it back. But I'm also seeing like how I physically change, which is kind of fascinating. So never really rocked facial hair like this before. That's kind of interesting. I kind of like it. So expect to see it more. I might grow this out just a little longer. The Ma the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream, I'm just letting you know. I'm just gonna put some on because it's just delicious. I'm just like letting you know. We're gonna be playing with new foundation. So I feel like we have to really give skin, but I wanna keep it on the cheeks because on the center, I wanna use the One Size Beauty Primer. Secure the Blur Makeup Magnet Primer. And we're gonna keep that in our T-zone because it's supposed to be very blur, it's supposed to be blurring. So I wanna try that out on my nose and where my like pores are the biggest, which is my T-zone. Okay, so the first product that I'm gonna be testing out is the new Huda Beauty. I think it's like a reformulated foundation. Like it's their existing foundation, but it's just reformulated, which I'm kind of excited to try out. They sent me three different shades. So I'm just gonna be testing out, I guess, what shade. I mean, it's cute. That one was baklava. This one is barbacoa. That one's very gold. Barbacoa seems to be a lot more neutral. Is barbacoa more neutral? I love having like my iPad here now. Oh, it's for it's forty dollars. Okay. So the first shade that I tried was Baklava 340G. There's a 350G. I don't know what 340 is, 340G. It's not on there. Okay, but the other one that I tried, I did like. Butterpecan 330N. 330N, it is a medium skin with a neutral undertone. That one's kind of pretty. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes I, can, I just need a makeup wipe. Oh, wait, I could be using the halos. Okay, so I wanna try the face halo, but what I wanna do is I wanna wet it and just kinda keep it here for when my hand is dirty and I'm gonna have to remove some of this foundation. So I'm gonna try that. So these are face halos, if you don't know about these. These are really good alternatives to makeup wipes. So I'm gonna go wet this because you just add water. The water loosens your makeup, allowing face halo to reach deep into your pores to remove and trap makeup. Remove makeup, no need to rub or scrub. Simply wet your face, wash and reuse. So I wanna wet it to see if I don't need like, um, like a makeup wipe. Um, the other shade that we're trying is 330 Beignet. Beignet, warmer, medium skin with beigey pink undertone. Oh my, the only one I'm liking is this one. It's like a shade darker than what I would like, but because I got tan, I can actually wear these because, okay, when I first got these, I was like, I cannot wear these. Like, <laughs> these are too dark. 
So now that I'm like, okay, now I got a bit of a tan. This one is too golden on my skin. And this one I can't find on there. This one is baklava. Butter pecan is this one right here. This one I can work with. And then beignet is too pink on my skin. So. Okay, let me see. It's like removing everything. And then I kind of want to try the one size primer on the cheeks to see if it'll really like secure the foundation. Okay, so before we get into the, mm, the meaty section of the video, I would like to talk about today's video sponsor. So today I'm partnering up with Audible to keep like honestly convincing y'all. If I gotta convince y'all one by one, I will. Like I love when y'all tell me you're like, dude, why did I wait so long? Sometimes you kind of like, you're like, okay, I kind of want to like learn some things, you know? Or I want to just expand my, my mind. So this one I just came across on like the recommended section. This is Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert T. Kiyosaki. I'm kind of obsessed with it. As somebody who has spoken to y'all about my understanding of the world has been so different because I come from like two immigrant parents who have like honestly like busted it, busted it, lived for them. But like understanding money is a very interesting thing. Like very interesting. And this book is so fascinating because it's basically, okay, I'll give you kind of like the intro to it. So this guy, he grew up with two, almost like two dads. So he had his dad who was the poor dad. And then he had his friend's dad who was the rich dad. And he got to really learn from both perspectives of like, the world. Oh, it's so fascinating. Highly recommend it. Y'all love whenever I give y'all audible recommendations, whenever we do an audible little sponsorship. Honestly, DM me, leave it down in the comment section down below. Leave um, hashtag audible and leave any audible recommendations that you have. Because honestly, I'm down for more. I have like an extra credit. So I'm kind of down to see what else I want to add to my like repertoire. When you become an Audible member, you get one credit a month to be able to use on any book and you get to keep the book forever. They have now kind of expanded their Audible original kind of idea. So now Audible has so many things. With the On You Plus catalog, there's podcasts, there's like mini audiobooks, Audible originals, as well as like guided meditations, as well as like sleep tracks. I've been kind of obsessed with the sleep tracks. I'm not gonna lie. Like you just kind of have your Alexa do it. You can basically program it. It's really bomb. So to become an Audible member, all you have to do is go to audible.com forward slash Zamora or text Zamora to 500, 500 and you'll get a link so that you can sign up for a 30 day free trial and you get to really just test it out for 30 days. That's literally the perfect amount of time to really see like, okay, like, do I like listening to audiobooks? You're gonna get access to the Plus catalog. I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know this is gonna be everything. Like, I'm just letting you know. You're gonna believe me once you try it out. Like, I'm just letting you know. I'm just letting you know. Okay, so the first thing that I wanted to talk about um, was the Khloe Kardashian photo scandal. <laughs> I feel like at this point, it's now about a week old. And I was like, dude, like, do I even want to talk about this? Like, is it even current enough? Because you know how like the news cycle passes just by so fast, dude. To where I'm like, are people going to care? Like, it's been like about a week and a half. Do people still care? You know, like, isn't that fascinating? If you don't know, there was a photo that was leaked. I don't think it was leaked. I think it was just accidentally posted of Miss Chloe and her Kardashian. And she looked great. She looked great. I screenshotted it and I have it saved in my phone. I'm not going to put it on here because supposedly like they were scaring people. So first it was like, I think it was her grandma who had posted it. And then they try to like pawn it off on like, oh, it was an employee. I don't think we're talking enough about that. But what is it that like grandma? Like, dude, what happened? What happened to the grandma? What happened to the grandma? You think they like yelled at her? They're like, you can't post that. She probably like took a photo. She's like, oh my God, look how beautiful my granddaughter looks. Like, let me take a photo of my granddaughter. And it's Chloe and she looked amazing. That was the thing. She looked amazing. I'm like, yo, like this is like, this is you girl. Like, whoa. We forget so much sometimes. I feel like what people really look like because everything is so edited. Even video is edited. 
Not me. I don't have time for that. My only issue with that was how they were basically trying to sue everybody and like justifying, like if you had it posted, like they were doing full DMCA's takedowns of like tweets, basically like saying like, oh, you have a copyright infringement. Just, like this is like a copyright strike, like full copyright striking people. And people didn't even want to put it in their like videos when they were talking about it. Like I listened to like Philip DeFranco and like he didn't include it. And I was like, oh my God. I'm trying out the new Maybelline Lasting Fix Banana Translucent Setting Powder. I got this on Amazon. Somebody recommended it on TikTok and I think I like it. I'm still not sure. They freak out and they want that photo fully removed from the internet, like fully scrubbed from the internet. She's like, nobody, nobody. Like they had to copyright the photo, dude. Like to be able to like take it down, it has to be like a copyrighted, it has to be copyrighted material. Girl, it's just a photo of you. Like you look fine. Like what is going on? Kiss to Pasanto. Isn't that so pretty? Wow. We're gonna bring you in closer. Come here, baby. BB, hey Gorge. Okay, so we're gonna do the eyebrows. For the eyebrows, we are doing the new, basically another new Huda Beauty product. This is a real new product. This is hashtag bomb brows. And they sent me the darkest one, period. I kind of want to see because this one is black. And I want to see if it's gonna look bad. But I also have like more like, there's like a browner one black brown and then rich brown so this is what it looks like now that i have eyebrows quick little eyebrow update this is all my eyebrows i don't know if they're fully grown in i'm guessing i'm still not sure i think by like may i'll fully know if everything is like good to go but yeah i'm kind of like living like it's way more than i had before okay so we're gonna test this out It's great for hair like strokes, but I still need some good filling in the bottom. So we're gonna go in with a little bit of Anastasia brow definer. You see what I mean? Like I want something a little bit thicker. I feel like I don't have to use a pomade as much anymore. Remember how obsessed I was with a pomade, dude? I thought I would never, ever, not need a pomade. Like I was always a pomade girl. So now we can do the top part of it. Oh wow, look, it really looks like little hairs. Wow, it looks like little hairs. They're so thin. That's kind of pretty. So the whole Chloe situation. Um, I just thought it was like, such an opportunity, it was a great opportunity to really lead the conversation on body positivity and body acceptance because I don't get how like, girl, like, come on, like, the Kardashians live for the drama. Like the Kardashians live for scandals. They've, they're one of the leading people in monetizing scandals. So you're trying to tell me y'all accidentally let a photo through. Like, if y'all really did, I really think it was her grandma just, casually thinking she could just post whatever because she looked amazing in it like she did probably know that chloe has like honestly i'm not a professional but some sort of like body dysmorphia to where anything she posts has to be overly edited um that's kind of concerning just a little bit like to me it just screamed very oh my brows are still so sensitive this one is more sensitive than the other one um, it's just still really concerning. It screamed trauma to me and I'm not, an, I'm not an expert. Okay. I'm not an expert. This is just me having an opinion. It screamed very trauma because dude, you're such like a public figure and I get it. Y'all have very extensive control as to what y'all post because remember when like Kim got caught in Mexico and her butt looked interesting. No body shaming here, but you know what I mean? It didn't look like what she usually posts. You know, it looked very like, it, it was real. You know, it was just like, this isn't an edited photo. It screamed very like trauma. Cause it's like, oh, especially like what she posted. It was like, 
But that just seems like some shit you gotta go take care of on your own. Like, imagine if I was like boohoo bitching and crying on the internet all the time, talking about how like I'm going through things. Okay, bitch. Well, like, make sure you're getting it taken care of. Okay, mental health is very important. Like, like almost like she hasn't fully processed all that that she was complaining about. To where I'm like, okay, maybe this is like the beginning. No, because she's still like, she didn't post the photo. I mean, she didn't have to, but like. If she really wanted to like change, cause like good American stance is like all about like body positivity and body inclusivity. You know what I mean? I just don't get it. And then she had that show revenge body where she really works out on her body. And like one part that I did understand was some people think that like it couldn't have, my body can't be through hard work. Like it had to have been through surgery. And it's true in the sense of, for me, like I have liposuction, but like, I don't like, it didn't do enough to create the outcome that I have now. I had to really work out. Like I had to like, no, like where my ass is now, like it's amazing. But I feel like I still have love handles, but my stomach looks pretty amazing because of it as well. So yes, it helps, but it's not all surgery. Like a lot of work did go into my body. So I understand where her mentality is, Girl, I really work out. Like, this isn't just surgery. Well, first you gotta admit that you did have surgery because then we can really have the conversation of like, okay, like it could be a combination of the two, but you don't admit that you have surgery and you like promote unrealistic body standards. I think that was the most frustrating part where I was like, you and your family, you set those standards and now you're mad that we are then having to put these, like, nobody was really like, oh, Chloe, like, why aren't you like face? Yeah, we were con like, we were wondering, I'm like, yo, like, this is really you. Like, you look great. You look great, by the way. Um, But I think it also brings up the conversation of like, why do you over edit yourself? Like, why do you over edit yourself? Like, I get like a little tuning here and there. But like, when you overly edit yourself, I'm like, I don't know. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to also be like, okay, Gabriel, like, you're fine with your face. What if you weren't? Then you that I would justify overly editing. And I'm like, okay. But like, at what point do you then ask yourself, do I have a problem? Should I seek professional help? Should I seek some sort of help? Should I seek a conversation with somebody, somebody that I respect? Like, hey, can I just pick your brain about something? Like, you know what I mean? Like, I think we all need to have that. Um, Because if not, we're going to continuously, like, be in those situations of, like, picking ourselves apart. Like, ugh. Like, I do it sometimes, too. And I'm like, girl, stop. Okay, so I think this is what I want the eye to look like. So I kind of did an eye off camera. I wanted this very brown eye with that pop of blue just but like in the inner and I keep playing with how deep I want the blue I think this is really pretty oh so pretty okay so for the eyes we are using the lunar beauty eternal eclipse palette because it literally has the browns that I need and it's actually this blue one right here deep sea with a little bit of adamantium that I use for that inner part. So I'm just gonna basically be creating the eye as I talk to y'all. Oh, I am using my P. Louise eye base. Oh my God, dude, the last makeup and opinions that I had, which all uh, was a super political one, remember? But make sure that you are still keeping up with politics, you guys, please. Like, and everything that's going on, I feel like, not even just politics, just the world. Situation that's going on in Georgia and like freaking Republicans crying and Donald Trump still like, oh my God, he was banned from social media and people are still like talking about it. I'm like, see, that's the thing. Nobody's ever really canceled. To really be canceled is you have to really go away and you can't say anything because they can't comment on anything. They have to be able to comment on things. Um, and publications will always love to get people riled up in a sense. So of course they're going to talk about Donald Trump and what his opinion is on like, they're telling them to like, he's telling them to like, what is it called? Like not buy from certain companies. They were not in favor with the new Georgia voter restriction laws. Like the fact that 
it's illegal to give people food and water who are standing in line voting. Like, are you fucking kidding me? If you want more information on how to help Dante Wright's family, um, because he does leave, I think, a girlfriend behind and a son, I will leave that information down in the description down below. But Dante Wright was murdered, supposedly by accident, by a cop, like, who was on the force for, what, 20-something years, who grabbed her gun instead of her taser. Like, I don't understand. Like, that still doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I'm sorry. Like, no. And it's one thing to be like, oh, maybe she was tired. Da, 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 da. No, no, no. In a situation where mistakes like that cost people their lives, it was one shot. It was just one shot. And Dante Wright passed away. So, yes, I do have an issue with someone not doing their job adequately. But are we surprised? No. Like... It was a traffic stop. That's the thing. Like, he lost his life because of a traffic stop. Like, an armed officer shouldn't, like, be making a traffic stop like that. The way it was escalated like that is so unnecessary. You're supposed to get your taser, you get your gun? Like, oh my god, the inco- like... No, that woman needs to be prosecuted to the highest extent of the law because I don't care, like... I appreciate what cops do for us. I absolutely do because they help protect us and help de-escalate certain situations. But unfortunately, if you sign up for that job and you are costing people's lives, like you took someone's life. Yes, you should be prosecuted to the highest extent of the law. You shouldn't be above the law. I don't care if you work for the law. You should not be above the law. This happened, what is it? 11 miles away from where George Floyd was murdered. And currently, Chauvin is on trial and he just pleaded the fifth. And they're basically like berating the witnesses. They're trying to make it seem like he didn't do anything wrong. So even when you try to hold them accountable, they act like they didn't do anything wrong. Everybody saw the video of police using excessive force. Like I don't understand why the conversation isn't being had in not defunding the police. It's about reforming the police because I think we put too much responsibility on specific individuals who have to then be trained in a vast array of situations, both physically and psychologically. And I don't feel like we're providing that type of training. So those people shouldn't be solely responsible for certain situations. I think hate crimes are on a big time high, especially race ones. Um, and it's very scary. We live in very weird times. Like, I try to keep up with everything, but like, dude, it could be very overwhelming. So just be cautious during these times of your mental health, because especially if you are of people who are being targeted during situations, it could be very triggering on one's mind, um, because that is known as a malicious tactic to overwhelm a majority of people by watching them see certain hate crimes, you know, to almost make them do, like, make them not overreact, you know? It's kind of like when you see, like, a pack and you attack one and you make an example, then the rest of the pack doesn't feel safe to voice concern or defend themselves 2020 and the beginning of this year really taught us like dude check in with yourself make sure that you are good okay this is so pretty right okay so for lashes i wanted to use these last time remember when i t i don't know if i told you guys on here but there was supposed to be another video like a very makeup and opinions video where i used like other products i was trying this editor out who ended up like just fully ghosting me, like fully ghosting me. I was so excited. We're emailing back and forth. We're like, yes, this is going to be the first video. Never heard back from them ever again. That's fun. So this is now, I think my like second or third time using this pair. This is, this is the style Aries by Lunar Beauty. As you can see, this is what it looks like. So pretty, right? So this is the second time I'm playing with this. This is the Jaclyn Hill bronzer blush duo situation. So it's very powdery. Very powdery. The kickback is kind of intense, but it is a very light coverage. And the only reason why I want to use it is because since my foundation is a little darker, I don't want to use my regular bronzer that bronzes everything. 
Um, I want to use a lighter one and I want to see if maybe I'll like it this time because the first time that I used it, I didn't like it. Okay, that's way better. I would definitely recommend it for moments when you're not wearing a whole lot of makeup. Like if you want to travel with this, this would be really great because it's like the blush and the bronzer and it's like at least protected and it has like a mirror in it um, and it's very light in its coverage. I don't know if it's the primer or the foundation, but it's lifting a lot on the tip of my nose. So I don't know if it's the foundation or the primer. I'm going to have to uh, test the two out separately because it's not lifting here. I mean, a little bit. We're gonna use the blush that just comes in this little duo. This is more of like a blue toned blush, blue and uh, like a cool toned blush, but it's very cool tone, which is actually complementing the fact that I did a blue eyeshadow look very well because everything the, from the foundation being neutral to the blush being cool toned. Okay, and then for the balm, this is by Rare Beauty. This is their nearly neutral balm. It's like a really nice mauve neutral gloss. I'm so sad I have literally nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. And I look so pretty. Okay, one thing that I didn't get to fully dive into, but it's a pretty quick assessment of the situation. That whole, like, what's his name? I think, like, Colton Underwood, the the guy who was, like, on The Bachelor, and now he came out as gay. Um, my stance on it is, do we really need more cis, white, Abercrombie and Fitch-looking male representation? Like, for what? For what? Like, for what? Like, for what? Like, come on. Like, okay, like, come out, that's cute. But then for him to already have, like... Oh, that's pretty. I'm using this one by Makeup Forever. Hmm. And it's definitely because I don't watch The Bachelor that I'm just, like, still, like, okay, like... I don't care if he has, like, a somewhat culty following. <laughs> Um, I've never really been a fan of The Bachelor and it's fine. You can like it. Like, I get it. We, we can all like whatever shows we want to like, but like you just came out. Everybody basically knew you were gay and now you coming out, you get a full sit down interview on Good Morning America and now talks of a reality show on Netflix with Gus Kenworthy as part of it. Um, if that is true, that is so embarrassing. They look alike. Like, and someone was like, well, he used to be like very, like he used to be in sports. He was in football. Well, there's other major league sport playing athletes that have come out of the closet who don't have the same opportunities. Like, no, like, but like, really? Like there's so many like white gay male representation, even in the acting world. Like, it's funny because like, as accepting as society has been of gay men over the past, for me, let's say like 15 years, it seems like cis white men seem to be like trailblazing straight through to right to the front, right? Like they have VIP access badges right to the front to the access of acceptance and happiness and opportunity as everybody else is like waiting in line and we're like, yo, why? why are we, why is this happening? Like, this is for everybody. We should all be able to go, like, why are, why is there like a VIP for cis, white, Abercrombie and Fitch looking men? That's why I'm like, I can't. Maybe it's cause like, I don't like white guys. <laughs> Okay, you guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you guys like this video. Final thoughts on the makeup products. Um, I'm gonna have to definitely test out the primer and the foundation separately because it started to split up on the nose. The bronzer, I like. 
I don't love. To me, it's not innovative in pigmentation. The eyeshadow palette, stunning. The lashes, so pretty. And I believe these are synthetic, actually. These aren't even, like, yeah, faux mink lashes. So if you like that, like, super lash look and you want a faux alternative, these are really beautiful. The lip in and of itself by Rare Beauty, amazing. Okay, you guys, if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, any opinions that you wanna to add to the conversation, make sure you leave it down in the comment section down below. Make sure you check out my podcast, Blunt Talk, to continue these super long conversations. I'll definitely be diving a little bit more into all of these topics, as well as other topics, on my podcast, which you can check out. I'll make sure to link it down in the description down below as well. But you can find it on all major podcast platforms. If you're not already, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified exactly when I upload a brand new video. And until next time, bye everyone.